VR headset is a prison. Every single game is limited to the Guardian, these walls that we put around ourselves when we play to protect us from getting hurt. And when we step outside, the immersion fades away. But what if we could go beyond? Would I be able to take the door and play the largest VR game ever created? Let's find out! So I started by making the largest boundary I could. Already I was surprised to find out that you can actually go up to 15 meters, which is like 49 feet, 84 bananas or 32 baguettes. This is huge. At this point, everything started to break. Texture became blurry, object disappeared, but the VR headset kept working and I was able to look at some cool details that I never seen before. It felt like I was not supposed to see this, but was this for my own protection or to hide some Something from me. I needed to find out. I needed to go even further. But how? Deep in the setting of the VR headset was the key to this problem. A secret parameter that will totally remove the Guardian. Without it, I would be on my own. No more safe zone to protect me. Okay, now that the Guardian is removed, I want to see if the tracking still works. So for this, I made a simple VR game with a cube 100 meters away. So if everything goes well, I should be able to walk straight, touch the cube and go back here at this exact location. Oh my God, it's working. It's working. I've been walking for like 50 meters and it still tracks. With this find, I had the proof. It was actually possible to make a VR game this big. So I went back home and started working on my idea. Yeah! Okay, so this is the location that we will use for our game. As you can see, it is perfect because for safety reason, it is completely flat and it is big enough. So to turn this place into a VR game, I did something a bit similar to my house VR project, which is take a screenshot, get the dimension, put the picture in Unity and scale it to match the dimension I had. And now what's left for us to do is build our game on top of this. Okay, I think we are good. As you can see, I made my terrain shape like the running field and went for this chill retro wave ambience. Anyway, let's go back to the video. So welcome back. Today is the big day. We are going to find out if the game works or not. And already we had some trouble with the sun that destroyed completely the quest tracking. But fortunately for us, we live in Belgium, so we just had to wait a little bit. Okay, I know what you think. What is this weird unicorn? Well, I needed something to help me cover this big distance. So I thought it would be cool to use a scooter. And after three hours of work, I noticed two things. First, I didn't add a scooter. And then I didn't add the money for a scooter. So I made a bike. Now, wow. to be able to see this bike while I play, I duct tape this controller on top of the handle to track this in VR with me. So if nothing goes wrong, I should be able to see it while playing. But that's not it. As if this wasn't dangerous enough, I added a couple of obstacles along the track. And my goal will be to reach the finish line the fastest I can without touching a single one. And here we go. Okay guys, remember that we are trained professional, so don't do this at home.
No, I was wrong from the beginning. I thought it would be impossible to ride a bike and keep my balance with a VR headset on, but it was the absolute Ooh. opposite. It works! No! Instead, the virtual world swallows you and makes you forget that you are on a real bike. And this is where I made a mistake. This is where I trust my game too much. <laughs> No. So, would I recommend this? Of course not. I mean, this was so cool to experience on my own, but the price to pay to remove the garden is just too big. And to be honest with you, after some time, it gets really hard to keep the game working without the headset having issue with the tracking. But I guess what really matter is that we literally reached the limit of the VR headset. So what will happen next? Will the next VR generation will bring us closer to a world where people work around in their own virtual space? Now, thank you for watching. This product took a lot of time to make and to edit. So if you guys could leave a like, subscribe and share this video to your friends, it will mean the world to me. Thank you to the new Patreon who joined lately and are appearing on the screen right now. And if like them you want to directly support my work and get access to the source code of my project and exclusive tutorial, join us, link in the description. Thank you for watching and see you soon. Bye bye.